Hey everyone, welcome to An Academy Neat English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma. I hope you guys are doing very well. Students, in this particular video, we will talk about BAMS. I'll share the details of BAMS, the eligibility criteria, the top colleges, salary structure, career option, and even about the counseling schedule as well. So make sure you watch this video till the end and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and to like the video. So first of all, BAMS, it, it means it stands for Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medicine and Surgery. So surgery word is included here, focus here. So actually it's a five year undergraduate degree course. Okay, just like your MBBS, just like any other degree course, right? It is also a UG under graduate degree program it is for the five years right students so here students are going to focus on the Ayurveda on traditional system of medicine which is native to the India okay now when you talk about the BAMS here the traditional Ayurvedic principles as well as the modern medical science they both will be right combined okay so that students can have a comprehensive understanding of the healthcare then here if anyone is a BAMS, uh, BAMS graduate, they will learn about the herbal medicine, about the surgery, anatomy, physiology, right? So that they can practice as Ayurvedic doctors and they can contribute to this holistic health and wellness, right? So this is about the BMS. This course is again, it is for you know that five year course it is and uh, here there will be the 4.5 years of Okay, mix session, right? For, uh, so, and then will be the internship, which is mandatory. Okay. So, when you talk about the eligibility criteria for the BAMS, of course, right, you need to qualify 12th with physics, chemistry, biology. So, here you people can see candidates are required to pass class 12th or equivalent examination with science subjects that is physics, chemistry, biology, and English, right from a recognized board. An aspirant from the general category needs to score an aggregate of 50% in their class 12. Means minimum marks that you need to take admission in BMS is 50% marks. And for other categories, right, it will be 40% marks. So candidates, they need to qualify the NEET examination. They need to qualify the minimum qualifying cutoff percentile if they want to take admission in BAMS. So yes, if you want to take admission in BAMS, you have to go for the NEET first. You have to qualify the NEET first if you want to take admission in a good medical college. Yes, there are some colleges, there are some uh, universities where without even NEET, they give the admission there are other tests like in Kerala K on the basis of KEM students can get the admission in the Ayurvedic medical colleges right and there are some other exams also but 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 yes if you ha you have to qualify the need if you want to take the admission in BMS colleges and if you want to participate in that all India quota counseling okay right so for foreign candidates and any other equivalent qualification approved by university will be applied uh, allowed so this is about the eligibility criteria okay so after this eligibility criteria i will share the list of the colleges here here you guys can see the list and this list will give you an idea of the fee structure okay this is a general uh, uh, list right so like iams BHU, Banaras Hindu University, one of the best colleges, right? This will be the fee, National Institute of Ayurveda, Jaipur. But in a proper sequence, if I have to show you some top colleges as per NIRF rankings, right? So here you guys can see the list. So overall in India, students, overall in India, near about 300 or 300 plus Ayurvedic colleges are there, right? Government colleges and private colleges are there. And there are so many private colleges for the BAMS as well. The deemed universities are also there. So it's not like that, that you have limited op option for BAMS. There are many colleges for BAMS. And uh, if you want to know that, how can you take admission in BAMS on the basis of need? Just wait for the, uh, just wait for some time. I will discuss that counseling schedule as well, okay? So here you guys can see the list of colleges like BHU, Banaras Hindu University, one of the best colleges for the BAMS course. So I'm giving you the idea here, right? I'm giving you that annual fee. It will be somewhere around, you know, 10,000, 10,000 or something. 
right? Some changes can be there, but this is the fee. If you will do the BAMS from a good medical college, from a government medical college, so the fee is structure is also going to be very less students, right? It is going to be very less, okay? There are additional charges also for your stay, for your food, but annual fee, if you talk about the academic fee, this is going to be this, right? So as per NIRF ranking 2023, right, it is at number eight among the top 50 institutions in India, okay? Number eight, so it's one of the best institute. DPU Pune, IPU New Delhi, DY Patel University, uh, Navi Mumbai, Sanskriti University, Mathura, it is in UP, that is Uttar Pradesh, MJPRU, Bareilly, Uttar Pradesh, Parul University, Vadodara, Rajiv Gandhi College, Bhopal, MP, and then SCSBM, V University in Tamil Nadu, right? So in southern part of the India also, there are many colleges, right? Many BMS colleges, okay? So... Now, what about the job profiles? Obviously, you'll be the Ayurvedic doctor, but here also the procedure is going to be same. You know that you have to qualify the BMS exam, you have to do the internship, and then you can go for the PG courses as well, right? PG courses as well. So, NEET PG is there, and one more PG exam is also there for the BAMS, one thing, and you know that whenever they'll bring that next exam then you have to give that next exam for the eligibility okay if you want to practice you have to qualify that exam first and on the basis of that if next will come then after that you know that what you have to do you will take admission in the masters okay so need pg exams uh, is there so yes here there are many options right obviously you can practice as an ayurvedic doctor you can go uh, there are many companies which hire right the BAMS graduate I'll give one example you all uh, must be knowing that Patanjali right right so they hire it and there are many other companies like that right private companies are there in government sector also the job options are there but in the private sector also there are many companies which research products like that I'll give you one example like in the market we we know that there are so many Ayurvedic shampoos there are so many Ayurvedic products right so obviously for that also they need the they need that students who study such kind of subject okay so in that sector also career options are there so it's all about how do you prepare right how well you know about your subject right how much you are interested so these are the things that you need to take care so ayurvedic doctor category manager resident medical officer okay a junior clinic trial coordinator medical representative there are many 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 different different job profiles other than doctor as well obviously some bms graduates they even teach okay you can even go for research okay so there are different pg diplomas masters many courses are there and some people after bams right they even go for uh, the msc courses as well okay so there are many 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 career options so as of now i want to guide you for this first step that this is should be your eligibility criteria minimum 50 percent marks you need to score in class 12 then you have to give the neat examination and as for your state you can just search the list of the bams medical colleges because some uh, in some colleges still on the basis of their 12th result they give the admission right and and even even in neat examination you should have that minimum score minimum passing score then you can get the admission in some states like in Punjab there are many uh, BMS medical colleges right uh, there are many uh, medical colleges where BMS course is there so on the basis of the neat examination if even if you have scored the low marks but you have qualified the cutoff you can get the admission there okay then different management seats and this seats and that seats are there fee structure can vary but options are there right so this is one what I want to tell you now <clears throat> after it students right today I was obviously searching about this BMS course then I got to know about one thing right and I believe I should share it with you all and that is AIPMST it is an exam right it is an exam AIPMST actually it's a scholarship test okay actually it is a scholarship test all India scholarship test it is okay and here in this Test. See, all those candidates who aspire to get scholarships for study in MBBS, BDS, BHMS, BAMS, BUMS, candidates should have qualified the 12th examination with the subject group physics, chemistry and biology. Those who are appearing or have qualified for senior secondary board or 12th standard examination from a government recognized board like CBSC, ICSC, they are also eligible for the scholarship test. So all those students who have already registered or will apply to need for admission in MBBS, BDS, BHMS, BMS, BUMS can apply for this particular exam. So you guys can search about it. So when I was searching this, I got to know about this and uh, uh, you know, um, I was not aware of 
this scholarship i'll be very honest i was not aware of it so i thought i should share the information with you all it is a i p m s t do search it do search it if you are going to appear for the uh, counseling okay so next thing after this is when i was searching this so i got a list of the b a m s मेडिकल कॉलेज इज देर सो यू कैन सी आष्टांग आयुर्वेद महाविद्यालय पुणे महाराष्ट्र आयुर्वेद महाविद्यालय एंड हॉस्पिटल दैट इज इन कर्नाटका आयुर्वेद सेवा संघ आयुर्वेद आयुर्वेद महाविद्यालय महाराष्ट्र आयुर्वेद एंड यूनानी तिब्य कॉलेज आयुर्वेद दिल्ली आयुर् दिस इज आयुर्विद्या परास परासारक मंडल आयुर्वेद महाविद्यालय इट इज इन महाराष्ट्र बुंदेलखंड गवर्नमेंट आयुर्वेदिक मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल उत्तर प्रदेश ब्रह्म प्रकाश आयुर्वेद चरक संस्थान दिल्ली सो देयर आर मेनी कॉलेजेस राइट नियर अबाउट 200 प्लस कॉलेजेस वर गिवन देयर ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर साइट एज वेल सो आई थॉट दैट आई शुड शेयर द इंफॉर्मेशन विद यू ऑल राइट लाइक सी स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ कर्नाटका यू गाइस कैन सी दिस राइट सो गवर्नमेंट आयुर्वेदा मेडिकल कॉलेज इट इज इन बेंगलोर कर्नाटका राइट गवर्नमेंट आयुर्वेदा मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल इट इज इन तमिलनाडु ओके गवर्नमेंट आयुर्वेदिक कॉलेज इन महाराष्ट्र नंद महाराष्ट्र इन बिलासपुर राइट सो देयर आर मेनी मेनी options there many options there so see government ayurveda college in kerala trivandrum government ayurveda college it is ernakulam kerala okay so there are many options in the southern part of the india as well okay right so you guys can check that and in kerala yes they do accept keam result as well okay keam result as well so that's what you guys can search okay so now if i talk about and the list is see so that's the list right so there are many many colleges many colleges are there okay so i will share the pdf in our telegram group you guys can see this and do visit the site right do visit the site that is uh, that is for the scholarship and that site is aipmst okay do visit that site now the next thing is about this counseling schedule see students when we talk about the counseling of your mbbs course for bds for nursing right for all india seats for all india quota your mcc is going to conduct the counseling right your mcc is going to conduct the counseling but if you want to take admission in bams right bhms bums and siddha courses right then you then that counseling will be conducted by ayush so what is that ayush right what is that ayush anyone so obviously this is ayurveda yoga yunani siddha homeopathy okay that's the full form here so they will conduct the uh, counseling for this particular course so basically the counseling for taking admission in these courses will be conducted by aa triple c so what is that it is ayush admission central counseling committee right so if you are clear right that i am want to go for bams bhms or bums then you have to apply for uh, then your counseling will be conducted by uh, aa triple c that is ayush admission central counseling committee by ministry of ayush government of india right so before telling you about the counseling schedule let me tell you about the cut off so students if i talk about the cut off of last year for all india quota seats right so for the open category students students they scored marks above 505 right for the open category that is for the general category i'm talking about the open seats so if i talk about the 2024 right as per the result this year right then you have to score if you want to apply for the all india quota right then you need to score minimum your minimum mark should be 530 so it should be 530 plus it should be 530 plus again i'm saying state wise it can vary right maybe in your state right even if you have 400 marks maybe you will get the admission so it varies state to state okay it varies state to state so you guys so if you are scoring like let's say if you are scoring 500 plus you can apply for it even if you are scoring 450 plus you can apply for it there are chances that you will get the seat in your state at least okay so now let's talk about this counseling so for participation in this double eight triple c ug counseling you are required to register yourself on the official website that is this uh, aacc.gob.in very easy then 
kindly note that counseling fee include non refundable registration fee just like just like students your uh, mbbs counseling and refundable security deposit will also be there at the time of registration so you have to register right so as for your category the fee will be there and then further the steps you have to follow so counseling fee will be forfeited if a candidate has not joined the round 2 allotted seat so here also just like mbbs round 1 round 2 right the stray vacancy round all that things will be there so if you will not join the seat right if you got the seat in round 2 if you will not join it then you won't get your fee back okay you won't get your fee back so further the counseling fee will be forfeited if the candidate doesn't join the allotted seat in round 3 let's say you applied for round 3 or even from the, for the stray vacancy round okay okay so this is all about the courses so as i said different career options are there even in the government sector right even in the private sector career options are there but the main thing is that you have to you have to give your best in that particular field then definitely you are going to excel okay so do not forget about this i will make a separate video i was so excited to share the information with you all because honestly i was not aware of this uh, scholarship test okay so please take the benefit of it search about it if you are not able to find it i will also do some research and i will definitely post a video about it okay student so guys keep studying keep learning and do not forget that it is the last day it is the last day to get this amazing offer you know that the team avengers right we all are there to give you the best content to deliver the best content to give you the information that is much 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 needed for your growing years that is much 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 needed for your career right we motivate you sometimes we post the strategy videos sometimes we post the motivational video just to make sure that our students they are on the right track right so please make sure right you also avail this offer if you are interested in joining any course any course on an academy you guys can take the benefit of this particular opportunity right you can get 100% cash back right some lucky students they are going to get it so please go for it in the description box there is a link click on that link and join the batch and free flash card right free flash cards for the quick revision that is also you guys can get so students right you know that we are guiding you right there are different different batches for class 11th 12th and the droppers and for the droppers this is one of the best batches that is phoenix pro batch and it is the last live batch this batch has started on 1st of august if you are skeptical if you are thinking that ma'am i'm late i will get the backlog should i join or not definitely you should join this batch because students again there will be one round of revision where we will discuss the chapter in detail okay so here in this particular batch in 6 months we are going to complete your syllabus that is till 31st of january okay so in this batch live classes proper test proper revision schedule pyq practice even after lecture you will get practice papers also okay so there are no other hidden charges 499 this is what you have to pay and you will get enrolled in our all india test series as well where you will get all india rank predictor so you will get the content you will get the pdf written by teachers you will get the questions to practice you will get the proper test in the batch and then even you will get the access of this test series and you can you can also be the part of srg special ranking uh, online batch right special ranker group that is an online batch so without wasting any time in the description box there is a video click or uh, there is a link click on that link and join the video you can click on any video on our channel right first of all make sure that you hit the like button and you subscribe to the channel click on that link right follow the steps and you can join our batch so without wasting any time start the preparation okay you have time still you have time if you are thinking nahi yaar i'll start in the month of december i'm not saying if you will start in the month of december you cannot do it but if you don't know the syllabus properly if right you don't have the idea then obviously there will be a burden okay so it you will feel like that okay i'm preparing i'm giving my best i'm studying for 10 to 12 hours but that time is not sufficient that's why students they give one year two years three years for this particular exam so start your preparation now without wasting your time so see you all in my batch that is an academy uh, phoenix pro by team avengers so thank you so much if there is any other information that you need do let me know in the chat section